what's up everybody i hope you guys are all having a fantastic day in today's video i want to do i want to show you guys how to replace the driver's seat belt on a w211 e-class my specific one is a 2004 e55 amg um this will work from a base model e320 to a 2009 e63 it's the same concept we're gonna have to remove the b pillar right here and go to go ahead and remove basically the seat belt because as you guys know if you guys have watched my channel i got into an accident with this car uh, about six months ago and um yeah this seat belt is uh it doesn't retract it's destroyed so i do have a new one we are going to have to replace it but first we got to get it off so first things first what you're going to want to do is in this case i have my gun up here uh you don't need a crazy amount of tools you need some torques uh, specifically one you need a, a t40 as you guys can see here t40 for the bolt that is on basically the the side of the seat belt that holds the seat belt in so as i was saying you guys are going to need a t40 i have sort of this thing and you pop this little cover off there's a black cover here and we need to take off this which is that this bolt which holds the seat belt to this uh, basically to the seat so we need to remove this and it's just a t40 honestly that's the only torques you might need i think we're gonna see once I, we take the b pillar off and we're gonna see what that looks like but at some point this thing's already undone so you can just undo it with your finger now once that's out seat belt's out there it is off the actual seat let's just put the seatbelt back there now the next thing is we got to pop this off the cover because the b pillar as you guys can see goes up from up here about to down there so you got a prying tool honestly you can probably use a plastic one for better results i'm using a screwdriver don't do this if you're kind of scared of it i honestly don't really care much if i'm being honest with you guys because i think i might have to i might replace all this anyway so we need to pop this off first because you guys can see this thing is all underneath it it's all held on by clips with this cover so we need to remove this so let me remove this and i'll be right back we popped this thing back the weather covering and these clips you just popped it off those clips and these ones and you're good to go now the reason we had to remove it is because as i said here's the here's the actual pillar so it's all connected but then we have to remove this little vent so again you can just kind of pry on it with your prying tool i'm using my little screwdriver you pry on it because this is um so if you have a base e320 or a base 211 your car might not have this but since this is the top of the line e55 it has the uh, quad zone so it has vents that feed into the back so in that case we're gonna you know you're gonna have these but you may if you don't one less step you're gonna have to do so put that off to the side and then we are gonna want to remove the basically the weather stripping up here because we need to remove that so that's it and then honestly it's just clips that hold on to it at this point so let me put this off to the side and as you guys can see there are the clips and they're not hard to pop off i mean there you go so there's clips all around i'm gonna go from around the other side and just start popping them mine's really destroyed you guys because yeah my car is a california car so it's sat in the sun for a good amount we're gonna have to do basically the same situation here where we have to remove the weather stripping and basically the kick panel but let me do all that once i remove all this i'll show you guys what it's supposed to look like so there it is you guys you guys can see it's held on just by some clips so you kind of just start prying on it not too hard you don't want to break something but um mine's already been honestly really busted so i wasn't you know too too concerned and mine's really dirty backside's fine over there as you guys can see because of the driver when you get in and out so mine's really messed up but here's the seat belt so we need to unbolt it from up here and then re remove it down th down there and then we can take it all out so let me go ahead and do all that and i'll show you guys at this point we got to remove this bolt right here so you guys can see let's get in there there it is it's been removed so you know, do it at this point and there's that part now the tough thing is to get all this stuff out we might actually have to yeah so very important guys i forgot i think i forgot to mention but when you're take doing anything with um seat belts airbags anything make sure your battery is disconnected you don't want this stuff blowing in your face um even though mine's already blown up it's just disconnect the battery you do not want this stuff you know getting really I, I don't know i just it's always a good idea to dis disable the battery when you're doing electrical stuff but let me uh figure out how to take everything out and i'll be right back 
So there it is, it's out. You have one bolt that goes down here on the bottom of it that holds it in. It is again a T40. So, you know, remember with the Torx guys, do not, if it's not fully in there, don't try to force it because you will destroy the, the thread and your tool. So be careful with that. Um, just some other stuff, uh, disconnecting these right here. You pull this tab back and then you just, uh, I pried on it a little bit with the screwdriver. This one was a little bit tougher. I had to pry on it with the screwdriver a little bit more, but it, they both came out. As you guys can see, all these wires are not factory. These are all the, for the dumb radio in there. So yeah that's interesting but there's the old one i threw it out it's basically destroyed when you kind of mess with it you can hear all the all the stuff inside is just gone i mean listen to this so that's what happens when these things uh blow is uh there's just a bunch of like little beads in there and they just ex kind of explode so that's what locks the the thing up from moving is these beads and yeah this thing is toast so it's going straight in there so there it is, you guys. I put the bolts on down there. I plugged everything in. The green wire, the yellow wire is all plugged in. I bolted it up here. Everything looks good. This one actually goes back and everything. So I'm excited. This is, I know, the car looks like a mess. It, I have the, the center console out. It's right here because I'm trying to, um, uh, I'm, get, I'm updating it to the 2008 one. And I just... I went to the junkyard, they only had the center, they didn't have the bottom like piece and they're actually different. These are, this is different than the one that's, uh, you know, from the 0708. So I'm waiting to, for them to get another one at the junkyard. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Um, I'm not just trying to spend a lot of money because I have to go register the CLS anyway. So um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So that's why it looks like a mess. Plus I need to clean, look at all this. I think it's dog hair or whatnot. I gotta clean this whole car, it's, it's disgusting. Um, but yeah, that's why it looks like a mess in here. But overall, this was a real easy job. I'd probably put it like a four or five. And I mean, we're not done yet. So I got to put the pillar back on everything. But let me go ahead and just uh, finish up booting it up together. And then uh, we'll go. We'll talk about it after that. So there it is, you guys back in um, just a little bit of imperfections. I broke one of the tabs on the other side so it doesn't sit fully well. But I mean, honestly, this is going to come out again because I'm going to redo the whole headliner because it sags and the Alcantara and all that. So, yeah, but it's in. It's pretty good. Now I actually have a functional driver's seatbelt. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty good. Now I can actually, you know, it goes back when you need it to. So that's pretty good. But as you guys can see, it kind of sticks out right here. So yeah because the tab's broken it's okay we'll fix it later on but yeah next thing's next i gotta replace the rear seat belts because they're also blown i don't know why there was literally nobody in the car but me um so this seat belt is you can't even can't even oh my god i can't even move it i'm gonna cut it i gotta undo this one i think the middle one oh thank god the middle one is fine okay the other one's also blown so i have both of the rears i just have to it's a little bit more complicated than this one is you got to take the bottom seat out you got to take the top portion and then you take this out right here thankfully it's a lot easier on the e-class than on the cls the cls it's a pain in the butt because of that roof line but honestly man i'm gonna throw in some clips right here i just kind of start it up and give it a little rev just because it sounds so nasty but oh my god i'm absolutely in love BMW M fans, huh? Thank you guys all so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the video. I'm trying to do these just little videos to get a, you know, just to get an upload in just because it's been a while. Um, I'm wearing the M113 shirt, got to represent, or the tank top, excuse me, got to represent. But yeah, man, I am in love with this car. This is, I'm never selling this thing. Never, ever am I going to sell this car. But yeah, we just have a little bit more work. I'm waiting on the bumper to get painted. I've decided to paint it silver. And then once I get some money, after I move out and do all my stuff, after I get some money, I'm going to wrap the car. Um, I don't know what color yet. There's a bunch of colors I'm deciding between, but it will get wrapped eventually. And yeah, I can't wait because this thing is going to be an absolute beast after it's done. We're going to do a little bit more cooling. The VRP one is perfectly fine. It didn't get damaged and the accident doesn't leak or anything. Um, so yeah, the car's great for now we just have to you know do minor stuff seat belts i have to get the center console i need to put the new uh supercharger belt on and figure out why it's throwing it i think it's because the pulleys are out of alignment gotta align everything make it right but yeah i'm so excited you guys you have no idea how badly i've wanted to drive this car i miss this thing the cls is fun and everything but <laughs> there's something about a 
well, at this point, we don't know how much power it makes, but a supercharged V8 that just screams and sounds nasty. So yeah, you guys, I'm super excited. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.